motion capture is the technology they use to uh, capture performances of actors and then translate that to 3D data that we then apply to our characters. There's a series of cameras set up in an array around the room. They're basically capturing markers that are set up at specific key points on the character to ensure that we have uh, articulation at each joint. That data is captured with infrared cameras that reflect back the information to the cameras and then that data is triangulated. The talent we get are really true professionals. They've been doing acting and stunt work for many years, so um, they take direction really well. You just have to be a kid, I think. At the end of the day, you have to remember what it was like to be a like a little kid running through the woods playing, you know, cops and robbers. It's just a matter of, of really thinking like a good actor and trying to say, how does this character carry themselves? What is it that's affecting their body as they move? And just trying to visualize yourself in, in a different set of bones and different skin. Forgetting what you look like, I think, is one of the greatest challenges that any actor for motion capture has because basically they're just using your skeleton or you know your joints and they're superimposing another character that probably looks nothing like you whatsoever. But I think once you see what the character looks like with your movements, that's a really big step for any motion capture actor to just realize that like it's not you at all. So basically I give them an insight into the character that they're performing, give them a little background who the character is, what the character means to the game. And a lot of times we just let talent perform impromptu and in kind of freestyle a little bit. So we give them a lot of creative input on how they want to play the character. If I'm lucky, I know kind of what the game is about, what kind of characters I'm looking at before I go into the shoot. And honestly, I sit down and play a lot of video games the night before to try to get just a reference point of, you know, what it would be like to actually swing at these things. Motion capture is basically a tool for the animators to kind of push the limits of the animation. It gives us the, the fidelity, we get the subtleties of the motion. What we're able to do with it is push it beyond the limits of what a human can do. You know, when you pick up a game today, it, the, the movement of it, the acting within the game, the characters themselves move and are so much, so much more developed than characters that had been hand animated just in the computer from games, you know, just even a few years ago. And I think today's gamers really expect to see that next level of, of real performance. You hear criticism on both sides. You hear, oh, now the performances aren't real performances because it's somebody else's skin on the, the screen or whatever. I think that the challenges are even tougher for the actor now. Getting an authentic, real performance to play through you know, a digital skin, I think takes a lot of skill and a lot of thinking about your technique and making sure that you're giving an honest, authentic performance. <laughs> Oh!